Hey guys, Icy Cat here. We are seeing some big changes coming to the way that casual is going to be played going forward. Not only is the playlist name being changed, which is largely cosmetic, but we are also seeing a change to the structure of the rounds within casual and how they play out to more closely mirror ranked. Let's talk about it next. <laughs> Now, yesterday we went over all the information that was available in the full reveal for Operation Shifting Tides. If you wanted to go back and check that out, see more details on the new operators and the rework theme park map, as well as some other details, then do feel free to follow the card I'll put at the top of the screen here and you can check that out for yourself. We've got all the highlights available for you. What we're going to talk about in today's video, though, is something that didn't get touched upon as much in yesterday's reveal. Now, they did say that Casual was now going to be renamed as Quick Match. They said it was still going to have all the same modes. You would be able to play Bomb and Hostage and Secure Area in there, and that there would now be the introduction of having the playlist guides available. So these were the ones that you would have over on the rank side of the coin. Now they're going to be available in both Newcomer and the Casual Quick Match mode. So this will give you a breakdown on the rules of the mode that you're playing, as well as the maps that are available or have been removed, anything that might be affecting modifiers for the game itself. So you can see here we've got all the information, three and a half minute round timer, what maps might be around, things like that. So that's all that's everything there for what is now going to be called Quick Match, previously known as Casual. What they didn't talk about, though, was what came out in today's patch notes. So now going forward, the quick match or casual mode is going to be played in the ranked setup where you play multiple rounds on offense first and then multiple rounds on defense. Or if you start on defense, then you play on offense. So you would be playing consecutive rounds as an attacker instead of switching attacker, defender, attacker, defender. This would be attacker, attacker, and then defender, defender or flipping it around if you start on the other side. If the match goes two and two, then there winds up being a tiebreaker round. This is a popular idea with some people that like it in the ranked format. And if you're one of those people, then this will be an exciting change for you if you do like to play ranked and have that setup. If you're not a fan of the way ranked does this, then bad news, this is going to be the way you pretty much have to play the game in any format now. Now, this is something that definitely has mixed reviews. Some people really enjoy the ability to play consecutive rounds as the same team, whether it's attacking or defending. Other people are kind of annoyed by the fact that they don't get to switch back and forth between the two sides. It's one of those kinds of things that's six of one and a half dozen of another. It just depends on how you look at it. But it is kind of controversial because some people really do not like that setup. But as I said before, those that enjoy playing that way on ranked will get a more enjoyable experience from the quick match if they do like it. Regardless if you're for this change or against it, it is definitely one more step that's being taken to bring casual more into parity with the ranked experience. So what do you think of this change? Does renaming casual to quick match and implementing rule sets that more closely mirror that of ranked make a better feeling casual experience to you? Or do you wish that they would kind of leave casual alone and let it be its own experience and stop making it so similar to ranked in many different ways? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, please do like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification icon so you're alerted as soon as new content becomes available. You can also follow me over at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.